Assistant Director Williams. I know who you are. Fisher. Long time no see. Stop looking. He won't find me. I know about your case against Lambert and me. Well, after New York City, you disappeared. You went rogue. But if you come in, we can work something out. No thanks. You've been after us since this mission started. I had to be. You and Lambert went way over the line on this one. Tens of thousands of lives were at stake. Exactly. And we have ways to go about these things. But you and Lambert went off alone, taking unnecessary risks and making all kinds of blunders. Starting with Iceland. Remember? Move it, Fisher. We need to get the hell out of here now. Sam? What's going on, Lambert? I broke the news when I pulled him out of Iceland. He didn't take it well. Nobody would, losing their own flesh and blood. And he'd never be the same again. They say if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. Well, Sam didn't die. He had nothing to lose anymore, so he took the most dangerous mission of his career. That's how he ended up in Ellsworth Penitentiary. He was treated the same as anybody else. No better, no worse. It was no midnight run, for damn sure. He didn't need much help to look like hell, not since Sarah, his daughter, was killed. You hate to see a good man fall so far. Is that all you got? Come on! Me, I hope this mission would let him pull himself back together. We needed him. Prison. A hell of a place to save a man's life. Lambert ordered you out? Just like that? My daughter was dead. And how does that take precedence over matters of national security? It doesn't. So you agree Lambert made a judgment error? I won't answer that. Fine. So the little information you did recover from Iceland told you that what was stolen from Rahim Kadir was not a weapon at all. It was red mercury, right? Yes. An explosive substance which, when added to small doses of plutonium, can easily create a two kiloton bomb the size of a baseball. And you and Lambert lost it. We had a lead, Emile Dufresne. He tried to buy the red mercury before it was stolen. So Lambert decided to infiltrate Dufresne's organization, hoping he'd take another shot at getting his hands on the Red Mercury. That's why he sent you in, undercover on American soil, clearly exceeding the NSA's mandate. Our mandate is to protect American citizens. The CIA was dragging its feet. It was us or nobody. But to infiltrate Dufresne's organization, you needed a way in. And you found it at Ellsworth Penitentiary. Jamie wasn't happy that I didn't kill Barnum. I hope his testimony was worth the trust it cost me. After Ellsworth, Washington and I traveled to the JBA headquarters in New Orleans. That's where I met the family. First up was the man in charge, Emile Dufresne. I remembered him from Iceland. Next was his lieutenant, Carson Moss. Can't say we hit it off. The person who was going to handle the weapon was Enrica Villablanca. She wasn't much older than my daughter. And finally, there was B.J. Sykes, the techie in charge of their security system. One man I didn't get to meet was Cole Yeager. It seems Dufresne was afraid Yeager was plotting to take over the JBA. 
So he sent me on an errand to pump Jaeger for information, hoping Jaeger might try to get the new recruit on his side. On my way to see Jaeger, I had an opportunity to sneak into the compound's restricted area. So I took it. I never learned what happened to Jaeger. Lambert had him picked up. He's still in custody. Dufresne looked for him, but not too hard. But let's get back to you. Your first assignment for the JBA was to rob a train in New York? A private train used by a bank to transfer liquid assets without drawing attention. Did you know what the money was for? No, but Emil didn't want any witnesses. He ordered me to kill anyone I came across. Lambert told me the exact opposite. Zero casualties. Who supplied your equipment for this robbery? Lambert was posing as an arms dealer. He sold equipment to Dufresne so I could still have access to my usual gear. That was a big risk. Too big. What are you doing? Getting there faster. No, we have to stop. There's a wall. Don't even think about it. Stay cool and you'll be fine. Hold tight. <clears throat> Talk to me, Lambert. I've got a bloodbath here. You promised me no body count on this one, Sam. We need to meet. Pronto. Drop point Charlie, tomorrow night, usual time. Got it? Oh, yeah. I got it. The money gave Dufresne the opportunity to discover who'd stolen the red mercury from Iceland. Then he got himself a sample to use both as a test and a diversion. He had the samples shipped to Cozumel. We followed soon after. The target was a cruise ship with 2,000 souls on board. Dufresne wanted us to plant the red mercury bomb and get out. Lambert wanted me to prevent the detonation by tampering with its trigger mechanism, Enrique's cell phone. But you interfered and made everything worse. I couldn't rely on you, Fisher. The stakes were too high. We are poor men, Mr. Fisher. Failure is a luxury we cannot afford. It's the result of laziness, poor discipline. But all that can be corrected. New habits form. Don't you think, Enrique? I'm the one that screwed up, not her. <laughs> Sir, if... What is it, Moss? Nothing. I thought so. We have no margin for error. None of you should ever forget that. I followed your orders and saved over 2,000 people, Williams. Even though Dufresne took it out on me and Enrica. Then he sent you to Russia. He needed a tanker. Didn't say why. A smuggling ship was trapped in the ice in the Sea of Agosk. They dropped me in to clear the area and secure the tanker for them. I never want to see another ship again. After that came Kinshasa. Why did Dufresne take you with him? Security. Dufresne was closing the Red Mercury deal, but he wasn't sure about his new allies. He kept me out of sight to step in if things went sour. That was when all of Lambert's planning paid off. I was on site and left alone, so I could listen in on Dufresne's meeting. He finally learned what he was planning. Letting Hamza live caused you some trouble with Dufresne, but at least you had enough sense not to kill him. Hisham's a good man, and the mission was accelerating. Dufresne was receiving five red mercury devices. All of them were going to be detonated at the same time. One of them was going to be on the all-cost tanker to be taken into Los Angeles Harbor. 
The second was being choppered to Nashville, where the president was making an appearance. The last three were for New York City. But first, Emil smuggled the bombs into the States through his headquarters in New Orleans. While I was back there, I managed to sneak into the restricted area again. But I'm sure you remember that. How was Lambert? Dufresne roughed him up pretty badly before you stepped in, but he's expected to recover. Not like some other people. Right, Williams? Fisher, what I did was necessary. This is where it all pays off! All the work, all the sacrifice, it ends here! And we couldn't have done it without you, Fisher! Don't thank me yet! one to collect. We'll find you, Fisher. You can't hide from us. Watch me. I will. 